Upload, we've been enjoying the release of Watch Dogs here, and today we've got a special treat for you because we've got Colin Graham here, and he is the animation director. He's going to run us through some of the game. First off, we're going to jump into the open world gameplay, and then we're also going to take a look at the multiplayer. So here we go. Right now I'm going to take a look uh, at uh, how we can uh, progress to the open world. And the first thing you'll notice is um, that I'm out here on the street, and I want to do a little bit of hacking and steal some uh, money or some, see if I can get some more uh, open world objectives. But these people are all blocked. And the reason for that is uh, because this district that I'm in, uh, the Mad Mile uh, district right here, is actually, uh, this, the CTOS center is locked, this one right here on the Navy Pier. So I'm going to go down there and I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to show you how to do this. Now you probably, if you've been playing a little bit, you probably know, you probably encountered some of these um, hubs that you need to unlock. But I'm going to show you how to do this one completely stealth because that's, um, we're going to do it hacker, totally hacker style. Uh, and all of the, uh, the CTOS hubs are available to do like that. So I'd love to be able to hack all these people here, but unfortunately I can't because I don't have access. So let's head down to the end and see where we, uh, see how we can get inside. So there's a couple different ways we could do it. Let's have a look around through the security cameras. Okay, so I can see in there that there's a gate. The cameras and watchdogs are always friendly. Um, they're, they're, they are, they're not hostile. And if I, I don't know, I can't see myself from here. But I can see there's a guard behind this gate. There's a couple of CTOS protesters. I want to be able to do a lot of hacking, so like that woman there, I was just able to steal her money. I'd like to be able to do that in the whole district. I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to take a closer look from this lift. So this is a nice little vantage point here, and I can kind of get a look where everybody is inside. Now, I can use the security cameras here to uh, look around and try to tag some of the enemies, and I can see that we've got some... Um, uh, that guy's suspected of human trafficking. They're not the most reputable guards that are working for Bloom covering the CTOS compounds. There's the, the lead guard. Security contractor, he makes good money. I have his, pass his password for the server. So now I just need to be able to get into the server, which is right there. Now, you need a line of sight to be able to hack things in Watch Dogs. One thing I could do is I could try to explode one of these things. That might get the guys moving around. I want to go to this camera. Okay, here we go. So there's a phone right here. If I hack it, it will actually make a sound. That would attract this guy, and he'll go in and check it out. When he goes around there, I'm going to be able to ha chain hack through his camera. So watch closely. This is going to be it's going to happen pretty quick. Now he's reacting. Now I'm going into his camera. Now he's going to go all the way in here. Now I'm inside the, uh, the, the, the encryption. So uh, you'll see that these, they have these red uh, uh, markers here. These ones are timed uh, nodes. And basically what I'm going to try to do here is connect together all of the different um, nodes. So now I've got 58 seconds. This one's not super hard to do. But now I'm doing it on camera, so it's probably going to be hard. <laughs> got this one. Okay, I want to get that one. Okay, got the signal going in there. Signal, signal. All right, so that made that look easy, but uh, I've done it a bunch of times before. And these are going to get a lot harder as we go through the uh, through the game. And I'm installing my DeadSec virus. And this is going to be. Well, sometimes you're going to see things that you didn't expect when you look through people's private information. So now I have access to every, every point of information that's contained on the CTOS. Every smartphone, every laptop, all of the CTOS um, nodes in the area. And I've done all of that without ever stepping inside. I'm going to be able to walk away from here and these guys won't have any idea that I've ever invaded their system. And you'll see now all these people are available and they're open for me to, uh, to uh, steal their stuff. Thanks so much to Colin for running us through some of that open world gameplay and we just had so much great footage that we had to split this into two parts. So make sure that you guys check back for the second part on the multiplayer.